and welcome to our live stream at this hour. I'm reporter Yu Yang and right now I'm in the city of Kolab and in Saudi Arabia and today we're going to explore the longest bridge in the Middle East region and the name of it is Bahrain Bridge. So joining me today is Mr. Naji and he's the staff at the Chinese company which is Sinopec Tackle Middle East LLC. Welcome to our show Mr. Naji, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to explain to you about uh, King Fahad Causeway. Yeah, everybody, it's known by Bahrain Bridge. But Indeed. Actually, yeah, but actually it is King Fahad Causeway. Yeah, uh, why it has two names? It is not two names. It's well known by Bahrain Bridge because it's leading to Bahrain. Culture? Yeah, it is about culture, you know. So uh, the idea of this bridge came from uh, King uh, Faisal. At that time, he has very wide vision, you know, connecting uh, Bahrain with uh, all GCC country because all GCC country can be uh, we are can travel to GCC country by land mm -hmm. except Bahrain so wow. from 1965 yes. uh, the idea at that time from King Faisal and then it was implemented that idea it came into action in 19 uh, in 1981 1981 yeah, 1981 uh, September they start building this bridge it takes more than five years actually uh, from uh, and the official opening was in 1986, uh, 1986? November 1986 yes 25th of uh, November 1986 gotcha. the length of this uh, bridge is 25 kilometers mm -hmm. 10 uh, kilometers in Saudi side oh. and 10 kilometers in Bahrain side in between there is island Yes. Uh, it was, uh, about shared by both countries. Yes, shared by both countries. That island contained the custom and the immigration. Oh. Okay. So uh, it's actually a border of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Yes, exactly. Okay. So uh, actually, it doesn't link only Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. So now, if you uh, if you if you will just stand here and see, you will see uh, people from all over the GCC's country crossing the uh, bridge uh, in daily basis. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, during the uh, usually uh, during the weekend it will be uh, too much uh, people traveling <laughs> through this bridge uh, I they broke the record in the March uh, 2023 the they reached up to 136,000 traveler Wow in one day imagine in one day in one day yes large amounts of people exactly and average, I believe the average of uh, traveler here by daily is like, you know, maybe around 13 to 14,000. But during the weekend, it will reach like 23,000 traveler. And from the day they open, imagine from the day they open until the last statistics in 2019, like 382 million person Whoa. who crossed the bridge imagine today maybe more than 500 million gotcha. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so let yeah. me clear here well the bridge lens is about 24 kilometers 25. and uh, actually mm -hmm. you need to travel by car instead so people cannot walk through this bridge right exactly yeah you cannot walk uh, you can travel by car or by motorcycle motorcycle yeah exactly and uh, because in, in old days we were traveling through the sea yes okay you can see behind us yeah right behind us is the Persian Gulf <laughs> exactly and then uh, we can travel uh, either by plane mm -hmm. or by sea by sea it will take us uh, three hours to reach to Bahrain by three you hours know, board, you know yes so but nowadays it's only one hour we are there you know wow yeah, and Saudi Arabia actually they, uh, you know, invested lots of money by building this, and they are also they keep on developing the, you know, the bridge uh, almost in daily basis. You know, you will see changes, you know, changes also in the uh, procedure of crossing the, uh, you know, the bridge to just to make it easy for travelers, you know, for to connections reach. between e the two exact sides. E exactly. And I heard that lots of European companies help the Saudi Arabia in building this bridge, right? Actually, it is a uh, you know Holland uh, company. It's like Netherlands uh, from Lina Netherlands, yes. Like I think Dutch uh, company, yes, mm -hmm. who build, build this uh, bridge. But it's a short period, only in five years. Yeah, five years, yeah, short period to to build a huge uh, you know uh, bridge with uh, 25 kilometers. Yeah, yes. especially across the sea. Exactly. Actually. Exactly. Yes. They so encountered some difficulties during the construction, but uh, still they were able, you know, to uh, get over it, you know. Mm -hmm. Culture. Mm. So what changes have this bridge brought to local people's life, especially in, well, in traveling, of course, and in, in economic communications? Yes, of course, it enhanced the economical, you know, uh, situation in both countries. 
uh, not only in Botswana, in all over GCCs, you know, it, uh, especially for Bahrain. I remember, you know, uh, a very, you know, uh, let's say, uh, funny story, okay? Uh, the first, in the official, uh, in the official uh, opening day of this bridge, I came myself here. We stayed like 10 hours, but uh, to enter Bahrain. But when I reach Bahrain, we cannot find hotel. Oh, so now, why ba because Bahrain at that time wasn't ready to receive those, uh, you know, uh, number of... A huge the, number uh, of travelers. Exactly. But now you can see uh, 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 hotels, bronze hotel from all over the world, uh, you know, all over Bahrain. So uh, this is really, it helped the economic, uh, you know, in Bahrain as well as in Saudi Arabia and Gulf. Understood. And besides that, as we heard, well, Saudi Arabia's geographic location is very important. Actually, it's in the middle of the Arabian uh, Peninsula, mm -hmm. and we can reach nearly every Arab nation here from Saudi Arabia. For example, you boundary the Iraq, you, you have borders with the, the United Arab Emirates, exactly. and you also have borders with, uh, I remember, it's Yemen and Yemen Oman. and Qatar, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait as yes, well. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's why. So this is the only... Uh, Bahrain was the only uh, country among all GCC has no border, oh, La good. land border, let's say. Okay. Oh, so before it's separated by sea, right? Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, because it's an island, you know. It's yeah. a, oh, it's a small yeah, island. It's a small island, exactly. But also, it was a small island, but now even it's bigger, you know, because you know uh, the development, you know, in Bahrain, etc. It's very fast, right? Exactly. Gotcha. So how do you think this kind of important geographic location brings to Saudi Arabia? Because, well, it really has huge influence and it's quite convenient for people in Saudi Arabia to travel to other Arab nations. Yeah, it is more convenient to everyone because, you know, uh, opening Bahrain, you know, opening Bahrain, uh, bridge, of, uh, bridge of Bahrain, it helps a lot, uh, it helps a lot of people to invest in Bahrain to you know also it's not only to invest actually you know uh, there's a blood uh, you know uh, relation between uh, both uh, people from Bahrain as well as from uh, Saudi Arabia and other GCC's countries. Naji you have mentioned so many benefits this bridge brings to local people but I got one question so how much does this cost? Actually it costs about you know 0.8 billion dollars how much is it? 0.8 billion, 800,000 million US dollars. 800,000 million US dollars. Exactly, and it's all funded by Saudi Arabia. Uh, that's why uh, they call it King Fahad Causeway. King Fahad yeah, Crossway. Yeah, the, the Prince of Bahrain at that time, he intend to uh, uh, put this name, you know, uh, the custodium of the two holy mosques, King Fahad Causeway. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. So that is why it has two names, and the first one is more popular, which is Bahrain, Bahrain Bridge. Exactly. It's well known around the world. And the second one is because Saudi Arabia pay for this bridge, mm. so we got a special name for Saudi Arabia, which is King Fahad Crossway. Exactly. Gotcha. So if you take a look over there, you can see the highest point of the bridge, right? Exactly. This is the highest point of the bridge, where, where the ship and boat can go through this, uh, you know, uh, highest level of the bridge. Why they designed the bridge like this? Actually, it is a straight. Only this, only this part mm -hmm. to allow the, the the boat and the ship go through from this side to the other side. Totally exactly. understood. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So because even we have a bridge here, the boat still need to traveling uh, between well each other on the sea. Exactly. So we need to left some space for the boats to go through. Exactly. Not only from Bahrain to in Saudi Arabia. It's, for example, this side is for Saudi Arabia. So if you are here in this part, you want to tr go to the other part, you, go, you have to go through the, uh, this highest uh, you know, point of the place. Yeah. Understood. And the sea view is so pretty, Najee. And show us about more information about this sea. This is the, the Persian Gulf, right? It is the Persian Gulf, actually mm -hmm. the uh, Persian Gulf, and it is, we call it the uh, Arabian Gulf. Arabian yeah, Gulf. Arabian Gulf. Uh, and you know, uh, the, the cities, that you know, surrounded by this uh, Arabian Gulf is Al Khobar, Dammam, mm -hmm. uh, also Jubail. Jubail, Jubail yeah, uh -huh. yeah, Jubail area, and uh, this is from the east side, mm -hmm. and from the west is uh, you know uh, is Bahrain. It's, it's Bahrain, yeah, indeed. Exactly. Over there we can see a small city, and which city is it? Al Khobar. Al Khobar. Yes. It's exactly where we live, right? Uh, exactly, and there, uh, in the old days there was a port. Uh -huh. uh, traveling from uh, there to Bahrain by a boat. Gotcha. By a boat, yes. 
Uh, currently, it's really foggy, right? It's a bit foggy, so we can't see very clearly about the city over there. Exactly, because of the humidity. Mm -hmm. But in other days, you know, uh, you will see the buildings very clear from here. Wow, yeah, amazing. At time, it will be really, because of the lighting, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the view will be really beautiful. Wow. And even from there, you can still see Bahrain on the other side. Oh, right, the buildings over exactly. there is exactly. Bahrain, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Whoa. I hope we can be, it can be clear in the camera because right over there we can see some buildings. Exactly. It's actually the buildings in Bahrain. In Bahrain. And we have customs here from both Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. It's exactly. actually a border exactly. between the two sides. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Well, currently on the beautiful sea, we have the, well, I, I believe the cargo ship and of course the traveling ship. Mm -hmm. But why we don't see too many ships here today on mm, this sea? Well, maybe it's because it's not from, it is by land. Oh. Yeah, because by land it's more faster, more convenient. Yeah, that's why you cannot see any ship here this way, in this side. Beside here, it's not too deep. It's, you know, it's somehow it's, uh, you know, the land of the sea is too high, you know. It's not deep, so ship cannot, uh, uh, you know, uh, sail here in the, uh, in the sea. In this side. Totally and understood. And they prefer, to, uh, you know, to go by track, mm -hmm. because track is more convenient. Tell me about the, the beautiful sea in Bahrain and how the people there. Well, actually, the culture almost the same, all, almost the same, you know, especially with the uh, Eastern province uh, area, the culture almost the same. Maybe if you're talking about, for example, Riyadh or Jeddah and other, you know, the other part of Saudi Arabia, it, it's quite different. Otherwise, everything almost the same, you know, uh, what, what, what they have there, what we have here, almost the same. Because we have also a blood, you know, relation between mm -hmm. us. Exactly. You have blood relations between each other. Exactly. Exactly. Wow, it's really close. Mm -hmm. So you're in ancient time, you're actually like one together? Again? But in ancient time, mm -hmm. um, are you in belongs to one country or one nation? Uh, no, we consider ourselves uh, one nation. <laughs> this is, yeah, actually, yes, we consider ourselves one nation. Mm -hmm. But actually, yesterday we had paid a visit to a restaurant and they're showing us about the different regions in Saudi Arabia have different culture. For example, in, as you mentioned, in Jeddah, yeah. in Riyadh, the central mist. Exactly. Uh, why they have such huge differences between these regions? Well, because, uh, see, uh, Saudi Arabia is too huge country. Definitely, you know, even in China, maybe mm -hmm. itself. Uh -huh. Culture will be different from area to area, you know, from place to another place. So that's normal because of the, uh, you know, the first the population, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, uh, the big of the country, you know, how big it is, it's so huge. So that's why uh, that's normal to find, you know, different culture from place to another. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Well, we definitely hope, well, next time we get a chance to visit Riyadh or Jeddah to see different regions of Saudi Arabia, because really amazing, it's totally different. Well, it's our pleasure if you, if you will come, you are most welcome. Thank you so much, Naji. Thank you so much. Well, that's all for today's live streaming, and it's quite interesting. We take a look at this longest bridge here in the Middle East region. It's actually a bridge connecting well the uh, Saudi Arabia and the Bahrain, and linking the two countries all together, and it bring benefits to to people uh, from the two sides. So it's really interesting, as you can see the beautiful view from the uh, Gulf, uh, the Persian Gulf. And uh, we're quite lucky, and today we're enjoying this beautiful scenery uh, at Saudi Arabia. And together with me. It's Mr. Naji, and as I mentioned earlier, he's a staff here at Sandal Park. And thank you so much for all the introduction, and hope to talk with you later for to learn more details about the culture between each other. You are most welcome, and you are welcome to Saudi Arabia. And anytime, we are here for you. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Most welcome. So that's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.